What's up, everybody? This is Nick, and you're joining us once again for a micro mini lightning newscast continued edition. Ooh. Eric, we last episode we brought them uh well, I I apologize. I have uh I have stepped on your introduction. I I did not properly introduce you. I just said your name. Yeah, we, I, no, I noticed. We have an agreement that we don't say each other's names without the other speaking first. Well, you, you did say woo, but technically that is not a word. That's a sound? Eric, I will talk to HR about this. <laughs> no, I will talk to HR about this. They, uh, they're they already calling me. I'm getting a phone <laughs> call right now. Right. But as always, I'm joined. That voice you heard is, I already said the name, but... My friend and newscaster. This is Steel Eric. The one and only people. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, as promised from the last episode, we had a little bit of a controversy going with Yanny, Laurel. Which is it? That's the That was the big question. I don't even know anymore. I know. It's been so long since we talked about it. I, I feel like a lot has changed in the world since... Uh, since yesterday. I know, right? It's just the world keeps turning. But luckily, today we have an expert. Yes, we have a great expert today. I'm excited to to hear him and his opinions on the matter. He has he has no idea what happened to Jimmy. I was talking to him. Jimmy is still missing people. If you've seen Jimmy, please uh, find his wallet. He owes me twenty dollars. Inside of his wallet is a card with a number on it. It is our number that lets us, you know, if found, please call. Yes. Uh, so, if you see Jimmy, but today we have with us Mike from the USA, and Mike <laughs> is the. Where does he live? He lives in the USA. Oh yeah, but. He he is the notorious voice that everyone has gotten to know recently. Was it Yanni? Was it Laurel? Well, today you're going to get to hear it from the man himself as he tells you what he said. Mike, can you hear me? I, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Excited to be here. I listen to Pull Up a Chair podcast quite regularly. You and tens of other people there, Mike. I'm so flattered to hear you say that. Make, makes my hair all a tingle. Wow. Makes my scalp all a tingle. <laughs> but, Mike, uh, tell me, with the recent news coverage of, of all this and the just everything going on, I know that this... This freshman at this high school found this, and I, it's just kind of blown up recently. I know you, you said this first in 2006, but how has it been recently for you with the, all this news coverage? It is a bit overwhelming. Oh, I bet it is. There's so much going on today. These these viral videos come and go. You you never know what's going to happen. And this this one just really came out of the blue, like most viral videos, but this seems a bit different and a bit unique if i do say so myself well and i can imagine mike that uh i mean this is something you did in 2006 yes uh i know that i i know it must feel like you did that i mean that's that's what 12 years 12 years ago that's a long time i mean you you have to feel like you have just this has just come out of nowhere. I mean, it's been out there for a long time. What they're just finding it now. I mean, what what are you what are your thoughts on this? To be honest, it seems a bit trivial. There are much larger issues that affect our society that should be addressed. How one man says a word does not deserve this amount of publicity. I am glad few people know who I am. I do voice work for many websites, including vocabulary.com, where this clip comes from. Yeah, we found an article last week that that told the story of uh, how this girl was was looking up this word, and she heard she looked up Laurel, but she heard Yanni or Yanni or however how everybody's. I'm sure Yanni does hear Yanni. 
but I love Yanni. Yanni knows what he heard. <laughs> he uh, he's come out and said that he heard Yanni. Well, I would too if it was uh, if if my name is Yanni, I'd hear Yanni also. But uh, I mean, we just wanted to go straight to the horse's mouth, straight. Just come out and ask you directly, Mike. And this is an exclusive pull up a chair quote from Mike. Mike, what were you saying? I was clearly saying Laurel. There you have it, folks. It was Laurel. I mean, you can't get it any clearer. Yeah, that, I mean, that's great. I I think it's pretty interesting how these phenomenon, phenomenas or phenomenons, how would you say that word? Phenomenai. Phenomenai, how would you say I don't know that that's actually How do you say that word, Mike? Phenomena. Oh, okay, that's how you say that word. I, I always get it confused. It's nice to have an expert on the show in, pronun- in pronunciation. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because I, I'm, always have, I'm always struggling. And it seems like Mike here just, he everything is perfect that comes out of his mouth. Mike, I mean, you said uh, from the, and it is, everything's perfect, but you said 36,000 words for vocabulary.com. And Mr. Tinkler has said that, I mean, he loved your rendition of audacity. I mean, we know you were in Cats. Uh, I mean, what what was that day like? I mean, 36,000, that's a lot of words to to just read as as they just come up on a screen. What what in the world was going through your mind? They would not let me out of the booth, unched. I was told that if I did not say all these words, they would make sure I wouldn't speak again. Well, I can totally understand that. I mean, that may had to be a heck of a workout. Don't you think, Eric? Oh yeah, I mean, just nonstop talking. Uh, I, did he? Did, it, did the articles say he did it in a day? I can only assume that that's that's what happened. Uh, Mike, was it just a day that you did this in, or was it a week? What what was the time period? A day. Yes, and boy, was my mouth tired. Oh, Mike. Yeah, I can just. A co- He's a consummate professional. He is. He is. Uh, Mike, you already mentioned you've had a prolific career voicing other uh, for other websites. I, I know we're running out of time here. You're a very busy man. Uh, is there is there anything that you you know you just want to say to the people? out there that have have been participating in this debate or have heard you say anything oh yes please don't make fun of my speech impediment ah i can i can understand being self-conscious of that not wanting people to uh to you know really just hammer on that kind of thing i I mean i can understand how it would it would make people either hear yanni or laurel but uh you know what 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 kind of things has it has it you know what kind of experiences have you, have you had with that impediment when i was young i was beat when i spoke poorly wow wow powerful stuff i, I mean you 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 hate to hear that that's rough that's a rough life i mean some of the greatest artists nick have hard childhoods it builds a character that is unmatched when they become adults and clearly in Mike it has caused him to have such eloquent speech uh, he is like I've said a professional um, of his own kind well with those final thoughts Mike we want to thank you for being here and uh, just taking the time to talk to us thank you for letting me have a voice no no Thank you, Mike, for being such a hero to the linguistic world. Eric, speaking of linguistics, why don't you use yours to tell them where they can find us? You know, you can find us all over this big, brave, and beautiful thing we call the Internet. The same place you can find Mike on many sites. 
such as vocabulary.com. But the places that are most prevalent with our, us and our uh, brand of news is YouTube, Facebook, uh, iTunes, and any Android podcasting app. Just search for Pull Up a Chair Podcast and you will find us. If you go to Twitter, you will find us at Pull Up a Chair Pod. You can tweet us. Uh, if you have any questions for Mike, we'll pass them right along. He's a pretty private person. And, you know, he doesn't really need a lot of um, public attention, but we're close friends now and we will happily, you know, see what questions we can get to him and see what he wants to answer. I don't know how often he can make it back on the show. He's very busy with his career and we were just happy to have him. Well, Mike, how about you sign us off? This is the Pull Up a Chair podcast signing off. Mike, I couldn't have said it any better myself. And thank you once again for being with us. Bye.